Aha! Uh -huh. NXT, baby! It's time to react to some NXT. Let's get it on. What J Rock is cooking? Finally, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in and in with the millions <laughs> of J Rock's fans? We are about to react to NXT. Last night, NXT. What happened with NXT? Well, it wasn't the best episode. I'm not gonna sit here and act like it was. Some good things happened. Started out with Leo Rush winning the light heavyweight championship. I like Leo Rush. I liked him when he was uh, Bobby Lashley's promoter, I guess, if you were. I thought he was good at that. Um, I don't watch 205 Live. So I don't, you know, I don't even know if that show still comes on. Does it still come on? I don't know. Um, I just, And I just recently found out that they they do the main event. The, the, the main event show. And I'm thinking like, that, that still is on? Anyway, tickets must be free. Because I don't know who buying money to go to that. But whatever. I guess the only a diehard fan is paying money to go to that. They, what tickets probably like what eight dollars, ten dollars? Uh, probably cost more to get into a movie to get into that show. But anyway, um, yeah. So last night Leo Rush uh, won the light heavyweight title. Um, and we're about to check out what happened when uh, who's this guy's name? Hang on. Uh, Swerve, some guy, some 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 guy named his name is Swerve. Anyway, uh, I thought that he he was pretty good last night. That's see, that's the thing about NXT. One of the things I like is that they don't have the the uh, high profile Isaiah Isaiah Swerve Isaiah Swerve Scott. Uh, he went up against Roderick Strong uh, from the Undisputed Era. They don't have a lot of high-profile names. That's why I think Finn Balor coming back uh, is huge because he's going to help add some some star power to that. You know, he's been first ever uh, Universal Champion, all that good stuff. Uh, but they don't have a lot of big name wrestlers. It's just a matter of you watch the match and then they become a big name because of the matches they put on. I thought that match between Isaiah. Scott uh, swerve against uh, Roger Strong was good. Uh, our, the the main event when Kushida went against Walter with Imperium. You know it's only a matter of time before Imperium and Undisputed Era come face to face. It's only a matter of time. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I'm believing it's only a matter of time before they lock up. All right, and you're gonna be hearing chants of. <laughs> But um, after the match last night with uh, Swerve and Roderick Strong, I, I got a chance. I was wondering if he was going to show up. I got a chance to see my boy, the Velveteen Dream. P-R-E-A-M. And Tommaso Ciampa. Let's check out what happened. Won't be showing you the video for copyright reasons, but uh, put the link to the video in the description box below. But I check, let's check this out. Give it up for Isaiah Swerve Scott, everybody! Because I'll admit it, I'll admit it, he's good. He's just nowhere near the level of old Roddy Strong over here. Did you say Roddy Strong? That's what I love about NXT. The best of the best, they come here to see if they can measure up to the Undisputed Era. I mean, that's exactly why Finn Balor came back. And that's why Tommaso Ciampa returned. It's because they want to try to fulfill this unrealistic dream and that they're somehow going to gonna dethrone the 
Undisputed Era. Well, guess what? That is never going to happen. Excuse me? Wait a second. Did someone say dream? Shawn Michaels now. Hey, in two weeks' time, you get to experience the dream once again. I don't need to see that personally. But... And an NXT North American Championship match. And when the Bell dream dream of your North American title, the world, the world will see why you just don't measure up. Now he ain't have to go there, man. He ain't have to go, go there. If you saw this live, if you was watching it like me, yeah. Oh, here he come. Tommaso Ciampa. There he is with that doggone crutch. As JR would say, he's walking in with no fear. No fear whatsoever. <laughs> Man, I miss JR on WWE. Showing no fear. And the Undisputed Era is my God retreating. I get I can hear the I can hear the king now. He's got a weapon, JR! Goldie, Daddy's home. Wow, what a statement for tomorrow's champion. Yeah, that was uh, that was good. That was good. Um, one of the things that I think NXT is missing, you know, when you don't have the big stars, when you don't have the big name stars, they they don't have that. They have a couple guys that you know are, are, are you know, going to be growing. Like the Velveteen Dream is going to be growing. You know, Adam Cole. Uh, he's growing. Um, Tommaso Ciampa, you know, Johnny Gargano. They got some guys, you know, Finn Balor. Uh, there's this other guy, Damian Priest. Uh, he's going to be going up against Pete Dunne next week. I want to check that out. He's a little peculiar. I'll just put it that way. But uh, when you don't have the big stars, you need a good storyline. And while... NXT is great for, you know, their matches and, you know, a lot of their story guys just simply revolve around, hey, hey, I'm the better than you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your title. I'm coming to prove I'm better. 
And I, I get all that. But you need a storyline that people can latch on to. That, that, that makes sense. Right? The reason Stone Cold and, and, and Vince McMahon, that blew up. Because people can relate to that. A lot of guys, folks, yeah, they want to give their boss a Stone Cold stunner. And still be able to work there. <laughs> right? But, uh... That's what they're missing. They need, and it doesn't have to be, you know, out of this world. Just something simple, you know, something that people can. I don't know what that was. Something people can uh, relate to, and I think that's just the one thing that they're missing right now. Once they get that, because now that they're on, they're, you know, they're on prime time basically on USA Wednesday night at eight, seven Eastern Standard Time, cheap pop right there. Uh, but I think that if they can get that part of it, it'll really, really put them over the top, right? It'll really, really help put them over the top because they got the matches, right? They got the matches. They just need that storyline that people can latch on to. Uh, I'm not saying you need to force anything. I know some things take time to build and to grow, and maybe they have something in the works I'm just, you know, not aware of, but... That's just something as a viewer I would like to see. But if you appreciated Jerox's reaction to this video, uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought uh, of this video and this reaction. If you got a video you want Jerox to react to, then the link to my Facebook fan page will be down below in the description box uh, as well as in the comments. So make sure you go there and post your video if you have something you want Jerox to react to. Um, also, J Rock is trying to get to 1 million subscribers. He needs your help. He cannot do it without you. Uh, so make sure that you uh, share this video and let everyone know that J Rock is here. Also, make sure you hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Until next time. If you smile, la 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 la. Hello, what J-Rock is.